What do you think about this thing? It don't weigh nothing. It fits all right, I guess. I don't know why it's hooked that. Because I wanted to put something in the car. We just got here. Welcome. God, it is gorgeous today. Just gorgeous. It's gorgeous every day though. It's a great day to be alive. Somebody was asking me for an Apple keyboard recently, and I think these are Apple keyboards, are they? Yeah, we got two of them. Speaking of which, wow, what happened back here? Why is my cardboard all soaking wet? Did it soak all the way through? Oh look, a penny. Find a penny, pick it up, all the day you'll be rich. Why is my cardboard all wet? I'll tell you why it's wet. I know why it's wet. It's wet. Cause my friend gave me a big bucket full of scrap metal. And that scrap metal was sitting outside in the rain. Must have had a hole in the bottom. Anyway. What are we doing? We'll put these over on the dry spot. All right, you want some cost stereo stuff? Oh my God. How many times did you go to Radio Shack as a kid? You know how many times I went? Every chance I got. Wow. Really? I'm trying to get things done here. All right. This kind of crap, you never know if it's like stuff that they just never got around to dealing with. Ow. Or if it's like real broken crap that they only discard it because they know it's broken and worthless. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, look at a real tender spot right there. I don't know what that is. If I got like a sliver in there. Anyway, we'll take this stuff because it looks like it might be worth $9.95 plus shipping on eBay. You never really know. I could look it up, I guess, but that's not really that fun, I think. I mean, how could this, a five disc Blaupunk CD chain, like CD player, how could you not, how could that not be worth anything? So I'm taking a chance. I'm sad about that wetness though. Oh, and here's another thing. I went to the scrap yard today and I forgot to scrap these things. That drives me crazy. I don't know why, they don't really bother me. They don't really take much room in the car, but it just drives me nuts that I forgot to scrap them. I have zero faith that there's anything in these boxes. Zero. Ooh. We got a pocket knife. That's kind of gross, so I won't put it in my pocket just yet. Oh, get over there. And a bottle opener. What brand is it? Schaefer. That's the rarest brand. I'm sure all you beer collectors will agree. Schaefer memorabilia is just the hardest stuff you could possibly hope to find. 
That is a rare bird right there. I've never seen a pile here before. You're, you're throwing this stuff out though, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I won't make a mess. Yeah, sometimes people who never throw stuff out, they're like weirdos. They're like, oh no, I can't throw anything out. People will make a mess. That's, ow, God. That's why that guy's like, just don't make a mess. <laughs> just don't make a mess. Like, okay, buddy, I won't make a mess. He's probably in there making meth, though. All right. Probably not gonna throw that out right here. Let's see what else we have that we can't live without. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin? I don't know. Why am I putting it there? I don't want it to get broken. And I don't want it to broke the other one. That would be a mess. Ugh. I have a feeling this might actually be real brass. If it is, that's good. If it's not, oh well. Get in there. Get in there, you. See, I got my cardboard down there so I can have the heater blow on it. Not the, not the hot air, but like the, just the cool air. Maybe that'll dry it out. All right, let's see what we have next. Basket, sled, folding stool, books. Uh, don't think we need that. What the heck is this? Is that a brand? I don't know, I feel like we, uh, I feel like we're taking it. I don't know why we're taking it. I don't know, we might have to try to get rid of that somewhere. All right, Avon Ruby Red. Some of these glasses are neat. Some of these plates are neat. Some of that's neat. Some of that's neat. And there's some old clothes and things, which I guess we don't want. Uh, all right, so this wasn't so great, but I really think that that brass lamp is awesome. And I don't know why I took that truck. Anybody wants a big plastic truck? Here, I don't want that. Put that back. All right, I, I don't know. Like, I think that guy telling me not to make a mess made me like unable to have fun at that pile. So if I'm a little more subdued than usual, then that's why. But thank you, dude. Thank you for finally throwing some stuff out for the first time in ever. Everybody beat us to this pile, but uh, I need something to film. Anything we need here? Looks like a decent mower. Isn't this conscientious? They drain the gas and oil out of it, but they tape the, the caps to the top of it. What's oh, this little back bucket of metal? I guess. I guess. I don't know why we want it. Let's 
see this bucket of metal? My friend found this bucket of metal at this same pile. And gave it to me. Which is why I'm not super sad that we didn't get here first. Because apparently we got everything good anyway. Let's see what else. What else didn't we get? Well, geez. That's a nice piece of pipe. Got a nice JP Ward pipe cap. Ugh. Wow. That's probably like two, three dollars worth of scrap metal right there. Don't want to miss out on that. All right. What's in here? I don't know what that is. Blue plastic thing. You guys want that? Some wood. Little mini helmets. Wow, that's a neat sound, isn't it? It made a neat sound. I think you have to like... Here. I swear it made a neat sound before. Why am I digging through this? Anybody need to know anything about anything in this box? I like those. Those are heavy. What do you do with those? Sharpen them up if you're in prison. shank someone with them. Is this what our videos are going to be now? Wow. The Tiger Electronics Sonic the Hedgehog 2 game? How come nobody took that? That's aluminum. That's aluminum. That's iron. That's aluminum. What is wrong with these people? I thought my friend took everything for me. How about some jingle bells? I'll put these around the camera so you'll always know where I am. You'll always know if I'm filming near you. That's aluminum, but doesn't weigh nothing. Look at this. All right. Here's what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. All right. You guys want, you guys see where I'm going with this? You guys see what I'm doing here? This is never going to work in a million years. But we are optimistic. Damn it. Alright, this is this is kind of on a let's get it flat. This is why Slinky was like not a fun toy. Alright, I'm gonna consider that a win. Hey, what's up, buddy? What are you interested in? Um, metal. Okay. 
guess you took the big pipe already. I sure did, thank you. Look, it's a Pokemon card. Oh. No, not necessarily. Okay. You probably already threw it out or don't have any, but I do always look for old bicycles and things like that. Nope, don't have those. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, well, we got uh, we got your pipe. We got a couple of buckets of your metal. Okay. And we got your Sonic game. So it's a pretty good day. All right. Appreciate that. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Derailed again, but uh, A, that clip was going nowhere, and B, that guy was pretty nice. So, I consider it a win. We got a hot tip that there's gonna be metal here. I guess I accept that. As a life concept, wow, that's heavy. Why is that so heavy? Ugh. These are pretty good. Actually weigh quite a bit. They weigh quite a biot. What's that? I don't want that. Mmm, that's borderline. What about that? That's heavy. All right, not too great, but uh, it's something. I think my cardboard's almost dry. We can shut the fan off now. Whoa. Let's see what we got over here. This guy usually throws out a lot of metal. And he didn't uh, disappoint us today. There are some people where it almost seems like it almost seems like they go out and pick up scrap metal and then just throw it out in their own garbage. I know that's like a weird thing to say, but that's just how it seems some of the time. Because the metal they have just defies rhyme or reason just doesn't seem like it would be anything that would be in a normal person's backyard. Oh my god. There's a whole traffic jam going on behind me. What's that? Ooh. World's oldest power strip. Yeah, he's also got this six and a half horsepower Briggs. This nice steel rod. That's a little too long. We're not going to take that. What else does he have? A tractor seat. What the hell? A couple of these.
I feel like I don't look for anything but scrap anymore. I don't know if that's a bad thing either. Ooh, that didn't sound good. All right, let's see. How do we get to this? How do we get to this sink? Oh, that's a stretch. Oof. I could move this out of the way, huh? There, there you go. Think there's actually any brass in this faucet? Probably not, huh? Wow, this is cross-threaded. No, it's it's all plastic, I think. I think we'll get it. Yep. Wow. This is taking forever. And I'm at this weird angle. Any brass at all on this thing? Yeah, a little teeny weeny bit. Half an ounce. All right. Why did I even bother with that? Anyway, let's take some of this stuff over here. Oof. Sorry about your flowers, lady. And now, let's get another tool that we haven't used all day. Whew. This is turning pretty epic. Let's see if we can get that off of there. Tight. Oh, you know it. And we'll even take the little broken off piece of handle goodness that pipe isn't brass or I'd be here all day all right so we got one more wire a steel rod and a trailer seat Ugh. carry it like a pizza a fresh pizza pie coming across the street Woo. wow I don't have a job but we sure had to work for that one. This is a little dead end. I almost never go down. But one thing I would say about this stuff is <laughs> the dead end, you never go down. You should go down it once in a while because once in a while, you'll find a great score like this. Oh, good Lord. Big armload of BX. I think it's aluminum BX too. Wow. Yeah, every town I do has a few streets that I normally skip, but that's nice, nice stuff. All right, what else do we have here? 
it's empty. Anything in here? The B and D Cyclone series, something or other. Ah, we don't really need that, I guess. I feel bad if I don't get the lid closed right. There. All right, that was a really great score. I'm glad I came up this little dead end street. Yeah, I'll come uh, come up here next year once. See if we can score again. I think I found a piece of Morano art glass. What do you think? I think I found a piece of home goods art glass. What do you think? I think if I can prevent it from breaking. Here, we'll put it in this dirt. Yeah, I found that planter. It's got dirt in it. That's where you want your art glass to go, in the dirt. Do, would you put your kids in a pally pen? I don't know if I'd put my kid in a playpen that had a typo on it. But. These poles are aluminum. So, we got ourselves some pally pen poles. Am I a bad person for depriving some child of their pally pen? Just so I can get a few pennies worth of aluminum. Nah, that looks like a cheap pally pen. I wouldn't trust that with my baby in there. Let's see. Where did I put that magnet? Oh, I just threw it right back in the car, huh? Durr. Durr. Oh, look at the sliver I just got. Oh, really? Is there something stuck in there now? You gotta be kidding me. I spent 20 minutes earlier trying to dig this thorn out of my finger. Couldn't get it out of there. What do you think about this stuff? Yeah. They don't really want the the coated pans. They just want clean and stainless ones. So I think we'll uh, leave that there. Are we done for today? I don't, I don't think we're done. I think we got to do at least like one meaningful pile. Let's put the pally pen back. All right, let's do one more clip and then we'll be done because today is just, it's just a weird day. It's one of those days, it's just going nowhere today. I mean, look, look what we got, like nothing. I'm having fun though. All righty, I think we found the, uh, the final pile. That's not gonna cut it. Let's see. We'll move Trucky Truckerson out of the way. We'll move this thing out of the way. I think it's a good idea to have a planter full of dirt and straw on top of your... Uh... There, we'll put that there. Move this thing out of the way. So that we can go get this thing. Oh. How are you today? Good, how are you? Very good. All right. That just got complicated. Oh, this is not a good idea. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Good grief. It's in. 
but we need to flip it around. You know what we're gonna do first? We're gonna cut off the nozzle. Where's my cutters? Oh, there they are. They were blending in. Ooh. My middle finger is still sensitive from where I dug the needle into it. Or from where I had the thorn stuck in it for a week. Yeah, my advice to you, don't ever do yard work. Anyhow, um, jeez. Sorry, I had to cheat. You guys understand. And, uh, that's gonna conclude it for us today. We got some scrap. We got Trucky Truckerson. If these stereos turn out to be something good, then uh, then that's good. If not, then uh, you know, whatever. We got a good scrap load, I guess. Anyway, you got anything to say, Mr. Chaplin? Wait, is he a mime, or did he talk? Of course I can talk. I'm the Minister for Overseas Development. Anyway. <sighs> People explode every day. So I guess that's it. Kind of a weird day, kind of a dead day, but we had fun. And until tomorrow, thanks for watching. <laughs>